it's going to be okay. It is. I promise you. It's going to be okay. I know you don't think I can promise you that. Um, maybe I'm lying. I don't think I am, but maybe I am. You're about to go back to school to head into another week, another two weeks, another three weeks of brutal exams. And maybe this is the first time you've had to do these exams, or maybe these are the A-level exams, the, the high stakes exams that will determine what university you get in, or your GCSEs are determining what college you get into, but it's going to be okay. Now, I know you don't necessarily believe me at the moment, because for some of you this could be the first time in your life that you've experienced large amounts of stress, and maybe the exams are the only thing that you've got going on. But for some of you, I know there's loads and loads of other stuff going on as well. I know there's trauma going on at home, and that's disrupting your revision. I know people that used to be around aren't around anymore, and maybe that's a really, really recent thing. Or maybe there were new people at home disrupting things. And I know you miss the people that are gone, and I know that you're thinking about them while you're revising, but they are so, so proud of you. I am so, so proud of you. And I'm telling you that it's going to be okay because I know for a lot of you, it doesn't necessarily feel like that at the moment, but it is. I can't promise you how long it's going to take you to get to being okay. It might be as soon as you put your pen down at the end of the exams. It might be a few weeks, it might be a few months, it might even be a few years, but you will be okay. And I can't promise you what okay is going to look like, what your version of okay is going to be. It's probably not the version of okay that some of you have in your head. And you might not even recognise it when you get there. But as bad as things feel at the moment, with the stress of exams going on, with all the changes that are going on in your life, with relationships, with losing people, with unexpected people turning up potentially you may not be able to tell what okay looks like if you sit down now and think about what okay is it's probably looking back into the past so thinking about what okay in the future is going to look like is going to be very different to your version of okay at the moment but it will happen there will be a point in the future where you wake up in the morning and you're not sad and you're not stressed and things are okay. I'm not promising you an amazing life. I'm not promising you you're going to be rich and a celebrity. I'm promising you you're going to be okay. And everybody's version of okay looks different. Don't look at people on social media. Don't look at your friends. Don't look at what people expect your version of okay to be because nobody else can tell you what that is and maybe you don't even know what that looks like at the moment but at some point in the future you will be okay like I said I can't tell you how long it will take to get there I can't tell you what bumps you'll have to go over to get there for some of you it's going to be a very fairly smooth ride and for some of you you're going to have to work at it it's going to be full of ups and downs and maybe the way you feel at the moment isn't the worst. Maybe it's, maybe you're going to feel sadder, but I promise you at some point in the future you will be okay. I know most of you are taking exams at the moment um, and you're going to be worried about what happens if it all goes wrong. So what I want you to do is to spend five, ten minutes thinking about well, what happens if it does go wrong and I really don't want this to be like a really sad depressing exercise I want this to be a useful exercise actually sit there logically and think about things think about what happens if your exams go wrong if you fail absolutely everything you're still going to be alive and hopefully healthy so that's a good thing 
if you fail your maths and English and you have to resit them, well, so you have to resit a couple of exams. It's not the most fun thing in the world, it's not what everyone would choose to be spending their spare time on, but it's not the end of the world. If you don't get into the college or the university or the course that you want to, if your path to the future takes a slightly different route to the one that you planned out, well, that's going to be okay. And that's what I want you to spend a little bit of time looking at. Look at your second choice college or your second choice university, or look at the different courses that you could potentially get on and think, well actually that course isn't so bad, just because it leads you down a different path, a, a different path to the one that you planned, the one that you had in your head, doesn't mean that it's the wrong path. You might discover fantastic, amazing things as you go down this path. However, if when you get to college or university, it is the wrong path, it's okay, you can change it. There are very, very few mistakes that you make which are going to completely alter your life. The majority of things can be fixed. They can be made okay. It may take a bit of time, it may take a bit of effort. Your path to okay may not be as smooth and as simple as other people, but you will get there in the end. I promise. One of the reasons I can promise this is that there have been times in my life where I've not been okay. There have been times in my life where people died and I've not been able to see the way forward without them. There have been times where I've failed exams where I really, really couldn't see the point of going to my second choice. There have been times where I've had jobs that I really, really, really hated and physically couldn't get myself out of bed in the morning. And I'm not saying any of these times are easy. I'm not saying that I know a magic cure for helping you get over any of these things, but time and your support network and contacting other people to talk are really, really great things that you can do if at the moment you're not feeling okay. So this video is just me giving you a really, really big virtual hug. Because I know a lot of you really, really need that at the moment. Um, and I'm thinking about you guys every single step of the way. I'm going through all of this with you. And I know for some of you it's a lot, lot harder than I could ever imagine. And for those of you, I just want to promise you that at some point in the future, I don't know how far away, and I don't know what you have to do to get there, at some point in the future you will wake up and this horrible feeling, the way that you're feeling at the moment, it just won't be quite so horrible.